Hello there! This is Nat from website-superhero.com and today I'm going to show you how to get the right thumbnail to show on Facebook when you share a blog post or a sales page or something else from your WordPress website. So this is my hire me page right now. I'm going to use this as an example because I have not optimized it for Facebook because I never saw the need really to, you know, post it. <laughs> Only my blog posts and a, maybe a sales page, but not this. So this is the perfect example. So this is what it looks like right now. I posted it here on Facebook. And as you can see, it kind of looks like ass because it has a chunk, a random chunk of my banner. So here it just says, you know, we followed by mysterious letter. So that doesn't look good. Another problem is the metadata. This little paragraph right here, which is the description of um, what's behind the link, right? So this is confusing. This is the description for um, my first package, right? And I don't want it to say that. So we're going to fix this. So this is the first step, right? First, I want you to grab the URL of the page that you have chosen and then go on Facebook and to test it out. This is my page, Website Superhero. You should totally go and like it. I love you even more. Yes, it's true. So <laughs> grab the URL to the page or blog post in question, and that's how you're going to test it. You're going to plug it into your status box on Facebook. So now what we're going to do, step two, is to fix it. So we're going to go to the edit mode right here of whatever page or post you're looking at. And uh, well, before that, you're going to download and uh, install WordPress SEO by Yoast. And if you don't know how to do that, I will have a link to a tutorial that I made last year on SEO by Yoast, which you should totally watch. It's my first tutorial ever, video tutorial. So I was a little nervous, but it's very useful, and I highly recommend it. And it's going to show you exactly how to use the plugin. Um, so we're going to upload the photo that you want to show up on Facebook now. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go here to the social tab on WordPress SEO by Yoast. This is where we can plug in the description too. So I don't actually want to have this on Facebook. So this is just an example for you all. So I'm just going to put something in there like, uh, let's see. Hi, me. Woo! Yes. And now I want an image. Um, here's the thing. So Facebook needs a photo measuring at least 200 pixels by 200 pixels. I have an example already for my Game Changer website package. So I'm going to upload an image like this for uh, this example. So when you have one that's 200 by 200, it's going to show up small as a square next to the description. When you have a bigger one, it's going to show up like this, like a rectangle on top of the description. Now for 2014, Facebook has changed it so the shared link thumbnail measures 377 pixels, as shown here, 377 pixels wide by 196 pixels high. So if you can use an image that size, that would be perfect. Just do your best. You can crop and resize your photos on your computer. I recommend that instead of doing it on WordPress. So on your computer, and you can use software like Earthen View, which is free and fabulous. I've been using it for years. I will leave a link to it below the video for you. So you're going to crop, resize your photos so that it fits nicely into Facebook. And then you're going to upload it to your media library and set it up via SEO by Yoast. Cool beans, man. Now let's save your poster page. Now, here's I'm going to show you how to do that. So upload image, and then I think it was, let's see, is it this one? Yeah, I want to use this one. Cool, so I have it there. I have my Facebook description. Now I'm going to update. 
sweet. So what I want to do now, let's go to Facebook and see what happened. So you're going to need to refresh so that it will work. So let's see. Okay. So we're going to plug it into here. And as you can see, jack shit happened. So this is how we're going to fix that. We're going to paste your URL into Facebook's Genius Debug Tool. So this is, I pasted it in here before we did all the magic here. And this is what it looked like. This is why, so I saw five images here. I didn't know what the hell to upload, right? So what it did is it ended up uploading my banner. Um, wait, no, sorry. That's what it was doing before. We just fixed it. So actually it is going to do what I want it to do. But basically before you do the SEO by Yoast magic, it's going to tell you right here what the warning is and why it's showing whatever image it's showing instead of the one that you want. Now, Facebook is being a little tricky here because it says that the image that I want is not big enough, but actually, I have a little secret. It actually worked. <laughs> so, yeah, it actually worked. So I'm just going to click on this, debug it. There it is. Here it says it's not big enough, but it's still showing. So I'm going to show you right here how it turned out, how the magic worked. It's very mysterious. Not really. Okay. <laughs> I bet it was mysterious, but now it's not anymore. See? Perfect. So now we have the thumbnail that I wanted and the metadata that I wanted, right? So how did this happen? When you run your link through the debugger, it's like clearing your Facebook cache. So everything is refreshed and renewed like a newborn baby covered in placenta and so on. <laughs> okay, that's gross. All right, next step. So finally, the next step, the last step really, is what we just did. Refresh our Facebook page and uh, paste the URL once more into Facebook. So we're actually, we did step four before, we did step four, man, we're ahead of the game. It's fabulous. Okay, so if it didn't work right away, sometimes it gets stuck and it needs a few minutes, so just try again a couple of minutes later. And presto, you got it. And then you just post it, of course. Um, an alternative is to upload the desired photo manually to Facebook. As you see over here, it says upload image and it gives you the, uh, the option to do that, but that is impractical and it's not useful at all. If you're using Hootsuite, Buffer, or another social media tool to schedule your posts in advance. So try what I just taught you. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have questions and share your video with your friends who use Facebook. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.